You know, you can't ever say what can the media do because the media is a chaotic group of people who are like every profession. There's good ones, there's bad ones, there's slackers, there's brilliance. Um, it is not a force and it cannot be shaped. Uh, it is diverse and, you know, let, let's give a, a, a thanks for that because that's what a free press is all about. Um, I, I think that if you look uh, at, at the press, uh, at the media, it's there. Uh, you can see what you want to see. Um, you know, television is, is especially in this country, uh, is really limiting uh, foreign coverage, international coverage. And, and that's what the problem is. It's not so much about what the press covers. It's much more a problem of what it doesn't cover. So I think that how we get it right is that the media does understand uh, a big story and they deploy correctly. And you, you get all the coverage that you can possibly eat. Uh, and that is still now. I think how we get it wrong is then when that big story subsides, we don't stick with it. We, we, are, we deploy like our military does. You know, when, when the war is over, we leave. Uh, and this is, that's always the moment when things really start to get interesting. Um, you can already see the coverage dropping off in Cairo. Uh, and I would argue this is the most interesting time to be covering Cairo. We are uh, six weeks away from the most important election in 30 years and a presidential election uh, to come afterwards. And we're getting very thin coverage. Uh, the media is still deployed to cover all of the Arab Spring. And so you can read a lot about Libya. Uh, you can read a lot about Syria. Uh, but Saudi Arabia is not so much. Bahrain, very little. Uh, not enough about Cairo. And I think that's where we make our mistakes, about, about the, that we gang up on a story. Um, and then when it gets complicated, we don't stick it out.